Hey everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how-to channel. So we started a series of Git tutorials. On this tutorial, we're gonna talk about merging. So we're gonna learn how to merge branches, do um do the fast forward recursive kind, also uh, do a merge conflict, and with as a bonus, we're gonna configure the merge tool using the file merge on macOS. So let's get started. So I have a clone of the repository on my local machine. If I do git branch, I only have one branch on my computer. So if I go git log, you would see this particular hash added blog page. So I'm, to create a new branch again, you just say git branch or let's do git checkout dash b, which is shortcut for checking out the branch after creating it. So I'm going to create develop. As you can see, I'm already on the uh, develop branch. So if I go to git log dash two on this develop branch, it has the same commit. So basically, their um, master and the develop branch are pointing to the same commit. So I'm going to edit the edit page again. I'm going to put some boilerplate there and just say page. And if I go to git commit dash am and say updated page, if I go to git log. Uh, dash two, you would see I have a new commit here, which is for an updated page. So if I now switch to the master branch, ah, type it wrong. Git checkout master. You would see that my page here is empty. If we go back, git log two, and it's not the same commit for we updated the page. So to do a merge, you simply say git merge in the name of the branch. So what this does is, if I go now to git log 2, you would see that my master branch is now pointing to the same commit that I just did on the develop branch. So I have some slides here to quickly illustrate what, what just happened. So when I started the branch on the develop, we were pointing on the same commit hash. And when I created a new commit, it created a new hash. And when we did the merge, we simply moved the pointer from master to the new hash, which is the latest commit. And that was what the merge actually did. So let's do another scenario where I'm on the master branch right now. And I uh, create a new branch called um, hotfix. And then on this new hot uh, fix branch, I would say I edited the index HTML and I said hello world again. And I simply commit this change and updated index.html. And um, after I did this fix to the hot fix, I would now go to my master and I would merge the hot fix git merge hotfix and that would fast forward my master branch again to the latest commit hash created by that hotfix since I already merged hotfix I don't need this branch anymore I could um, delete it I could just say git branch dash d and hotfix sometimes if the branch hasn't been commit uh, there's changes to the branch and it hasn't been merged to the master you won't be allowed to do a dash d what you could do is dash D as capital D to force a hard delete. So if I now go to my develop branch, git checkout develop, and I continue with this path, if I say, um, I go back to my blog page, blog page added, save, and I commit this, git commit am uh, blog title updated. So if I go to my uh, master branch this time, my master branch is ahead by two commits. So what's going to happen is the develop branch, which was spawned up from the master, is no longer pointing to the same commit that we originally pointed at. So if I go git merge uh, develop, it's going to create a merge commit 
so you just type um, exit this out uh, control uh, shift colon X and exclamation to save it up and you would see that it made a recursive strategy so gives smart enough to merge all these files together so if I go to git log dash 2 now you would see that the blog title updated was there and it created a merge developed there if we go git log 3 so before that blog title we see the updated index html file which we did on the hotfix that got merged to master if that makes sense so let me show you what happened there so on the master branch we created a brand a commit on the hotfix called commit c3 and then what happened when we uh, updated when we merge hotfix the master branch pointed to the c3 branch so that's all fine so when we move our pointer on develop to the new commit that we just did you would see that the c4 hash is no longer the parent of the c1 so what git did is created a commit hash here which is that's actually c5 and that's the new hash merge that we just saw so it made a recursive um, commit and build all of this merges cool hope that makes sense um, the next one I want to talk about is the merge conflict so merge conflict happens normally when you're modifying the same file on two separate branches and when you try to merge it it's gonna complain so before we do that, I want to configure my um, I want to configure my merge tool. So remember, on the first topic, we were uh, setting up the config file. So if I git do git config dash dash global and do a list, you will see that I don't have any merge tool here so i have xcode installed on my machine so you just open finder i'm just gonna quickly show you where the tool that i'm looking for is so if i go here right click show packages contents and then see applications here there's a file merge utility here so if i open this uh, this utility allows you to compare two files so with using this with git it would allow you to uh, visually see the differences instead of using vim diff which is kind of hard to use so to configure this you just say git config dash dash global merge dot tool and open diff so if I now go to git global less it would show that I now have open diff configured so that easy now let's create a conflict so back to my working directory here let's see which branch I'm on I'm on the master branch I'm gonna edit this blog page and say blog page uh, added twice and commit this change and say uh, blog title updated twice I'm gonna switch to the develop branch and from here I'm gonna edit the same file maybe um, uh, say once and say git commit am blog title updated once so I could be on the same develop branch and do a merge to the master so if I go git merge master this is going to pull down the master branch to my develop branch and try to merge the same file if you do that you're going to get this auto merging blog.html conflict content merge conflict so uh, git's not smart enough to fix this uh, conflict it would ask you to manually fix it so the head is the current branch that you're on and this master is the one that you're trying to merge to that uh, code so you could potentially clean it up here 
even on VX Code, I have some uh, smart tools to do this. If you don't have VX Code, you could go to Git Merge Tool. And this would open up the merge tool that we just um, configured on our global. So you can see that says um, this is the branch that I'm on and this is the master branch. So I could say from here, action to do is I want to use uh, the right one. So this would be the final output of the file. So you just click save and exit file merge. And was the merge successful? And you just say yes. And you can see that the blog is now accepting this one. And you could just uh, quickly say, uh, then you need to commit these changes. So if I go git status, it would say that these two files has been modified. So you could git add blog html space index.html and that would add both files and then you do a git commit and say um, uh, merge conflict result and that should remove that and you could delete this um, backup file that it created because of the conflict so you don't need that anymore and your if i go to git status here then all conflicts are resolved. So that's it for uh, fixing conflicts. Um, on the next tutorial, we're going to talk about um, rebasing and some other cool stuff as well. So cheers. If you like this video, please like, uh, hit the comments below, subscribe to my channel. Cheers. Bye.